Hello again. We haven't talked in a while. Or did we just speak? I can't remember. This is the abyss. I've been here for 11 months. I've counted. This might seem hopeless, but I'm just waiting. just need a sign to make my move and get out of here, but it needs to happen within a month or else it's over. But if I get out, I have someone I'd like to see. supposed to be off your shift soon. Yes, I am. But how much longer must we keep this up? It's a stone statue. You said it yourself. There's no way for Mithro to get out of there. We must watch it until it solidifies. I've done my part, Plumkin. I've made three prisons. My job is done. It's not any good to stay like this. If you feel like we're in danger of Mithra getting out, then we should build a proper prison around it, not this tiny shack of redstone. You keep bringing this up as if I'm going to change my mind. Sven, I know you think this bunker is inferior, but our resources have been greatly depleted over the past few years because of certain things. Just one more month, and then I'll let you be. I am very grateful to have you by my side and your loyalty to the cause over the past months. But you need some rest. Go home. <sighs> Alright, I suppose I'll see you tomorrow. Sven, one of these days I'm going to be able to look at you eye to eye. Don't worry. <laughs> good luck with that. Have a good evening, Sven. Well, I guess it's just you and me. <sighs> Get comfortable, I guess. This is what I'll be watching? Just this? Yep. Sorry about all the secrecy. It's just that Plumpkin doesn't like new employees to know what they're guarding until they get in here. What is it? It was a criminal, named Mithrodak, which got out of prison one too many times, so Plumpkin decided to do this to it. It is a person. I can still see it moving. Is it even alive? I didn't plan to come into this world and leave it in a genocide. But it's all gone now. Anything I had has been taken, and I'll never live free again. I'll always be running, unless... unless... I just need a sign. Plumpkin made 
one mistake when trapping me in here. When he taunted me, he gave me a chest. And that's all I needed. This may look like a helpless purgatory, but it's still my mind. You don't think I've been down here before? This is usually the part where I go into a detailed explanation of the escape and show you just how it's done. But I'm not doing this anymore. I'm tired of talking. And I'm tired of being controlled. Let's get this done. Oh, and you might want to cover your ears. This is going to be loud.
Look, I know our meetings are usually secretive, but no stasis chambers? I need to tell you something, Ithro. Well, then let's hear it. I don't think we should be doing this anymore. Being friends. What? What? <sighs> May I ask how you've come to this conclusion? Look, Mithra, I can't be doing this. It's against protocol to befriend any recruits. My job is to train only. I understand. But am I just a recruit to you? No, Myth, you're not. But you need to be one. I've grown too attached. I'm sorry, my job is at stake and your position is threatened by this. What does the Creed have against emotions anyways? It's unneeded and obtrusive, apparently. I'm doing this for both our sake. Then why do I feel so hurt? Mush, run. Hey. Run! Mithru? Mush, I... I thought, I thought you were dead. Um, come, come in, come in. Where have you been all this time? I haven't seen a sign of you in two years. Sorry, I've been a bit preoccupied. After the gladiator pit, I've been a bit on the run. Look, I'm sorry we couldn't get you out of the gladiator pit. The creator simply didn't have enough expendable resources to try and break you out. It's alright, Mush. <clears throat> this is a very nice place you've got here. Oh, thank you. I got an early retirement. A nice animal shelter, secluded and peaceful. Just like we always talked about when... Um, it looks nice. So, what can I do for you? Why'd you come down all this way? Well, I wanted to find an ender chest to gather supplies, but I also wanted to see you again. Well, it is good to see you again, Mithra. If you'd like, you can stay here for a day or two to get your bearings. Thank you very much. I'll try and gather everything I need as soon as possible, as not to be a bother. You're not a bother. There is a public chest at a small town a few hundred blocks from here, but it's late. You should get it in the morning. Alright. It's good to see you. Don't worry, I'm not leaving just yet. I'll come back and tell you goodbye once I have everything, okay? to find where a certain escapee has fled. Do you know where it went? A certain escapee? Miss Rulak. <laughs> Who? Alright, Mushroom. You see my men? They're going to go out and start killing every one of them until you tell me what I want to know. I don't know. I'll start with the bird, and then I'll go to the dog, then the cows, and once we're done with that, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. All I want is Miss Rulak. You got what you needed? I did. Thank you for giving me the info. I think I'll be heading off tonight. What are you going to do now? I'm gonna go and try to repay a favor, let's say. Why? It's it's dark out. You should be very careful. I should? <sighs> Hello again, Mr. Luck. Remember me? I'm sorry. I'd like you to come with us, please. 
much. I had no choice. I'm so sorry. Come on. Come with us. Or we'll take you by force. They were going to kill my animals. Come I on, Mr. Dak. I'm not waiting for you to decide. You're going to come with us and give us all your armor and weapons or else we'll kill Mosh and spawn kill them until they have no lives. I'm so sorry. Do it now. It's okay, Mosh. It's okay. Follow me or they will die. I'm so sorry. Do you even feel remorse? For what? For what? Have you already forgotten that you're the one who did this to me? For killing all of those innocent people? If you ever had a reason to be imprisoned, you do now! They were guards, keeping me falsely imprisoned. Those guards were decent human beings, and they lost so many lives because of you. After the explosion, some of the guard beds were still intact, so they would respawn and die again. The TNT destroyed all of our materials, and the portal, so we would have to mine our way out with fist. But it was impossible with the lava walls. The men got so desperate, they would start begging for others to kill them. When the rescue party finally got us, we had only three people left. You had trapped us and left us rot in an obsidian box. That's ironic. Don't test me, Mr. Lack. Why not? You really want to fight me? Why not? You think you're so good, then prove it. Diamond, you and me. I'm confident in my skills, but I'm not stupid. How's Nettie doing these days? Does she still have 13 lives? Such a shame. She could have lived longer. Alright, I had enough. Tap the bed. It's time for someone to put you in place. This prophecy says that Mithra is going to kill everyone? And and then, and does it say like why or how or, or when? Or, I don't know. It was very short, but extremely potent. I've had a sinking feeling ever since I got it. And your plan is to build the prison for Mithra? I am the protector of this realm, Sven. I will do what I must to keep the majority safe. And this is the only option to prevent a massacre. We won't have to kill anyone. It can be peaceful. And that's why I wanted to get your help, Sven. I know you have had quite an extensive background with Redstone. You seem like just the man for the job. If you are willing. Willing to lock away Mithridak for the rest of their life? Yes. For the greater good of this world. Considering what he has done to me, I'm doing it. Looking for an old friend of mine. I was wondering if you could tell me where he is. His name is Sven. Oh, of course. He owns this land. I'm just a farmhand. His house is about a hundred blocks east of here. You know, I remember you. Were you in the pit? Um, yeah, actually. How did you know? I just have a good memory. It's nice to see you out alive. Yeah, the pit eventually got demolished by the army once they found it. Mm. So, you're a farmer now. You like working here? Well, I do. It can get a bit straining at times, though. But I've got to bring home a profit. That's understandable. 
Sounds like a peaceful lifestyle. Anyways, you said east? Yes, just keep going in that direction. It's tucked into the trees a bit. Thank you very much. Here, take this. Oh. Hello again. Wait, 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 Mithra, wait. We haven't really gotten to talk since, you know? Okay then. How have you been? Well, I haven't exactly gotten to stop and smell the roses. Look, Mithra, I'm sorry about what happened back at Gaia's vault, but it had to be done. You had to kill my best friend. You killed mine! It was an accident! And I'm sorry, again. No one has ever taken more away from me than you did, Mithro. I should have just never introduced myself to you in the pit. <sighs> Look, Mithro, I'd love to sympathize with you, but you've done too much damage for me to care anymore. I did what I had to do to survive. Killing innocent people? Creating a worldwide manhunt? All the lives you've taken and all the ones you're going to take? Oh, you're on about the prophecy, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's not true. From what I'm seeing right now, it looks pretty true. And I trust Plumkin. You trust a merciless god more than me? He's manipulating you, Sven. My trust in you died along with Chase. I guess I can't convince you. If it's my life you want, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Why's that? Because I've been stalling. Sven. I'm sorry, Mithra. I wish things were different.
Hello, welcome to the secret end part of the video. Um, please subscribe, it would help me a lot. This video took like months to make. I also stream on Twitch daily, but thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day.